Hello everyone. So in this lesson, we are going to look at another frequently used HTML element, which is table. So let's get started. First create a file for table and let's change the extension to HTML. Now open this with Visual Studio Code or other editor and then let's start by creating the most simplest table. So table is used for presenting tabular data in a grid kind of fashion. Uh, this is not used for the purpose of laying out a web page uh, or the sections within a web page uh, unless you actually you really have to do that. Um, so the most simple table will have three different tags. One is the table and then within table there are rows which is uh, tagged using tier and within a row there will be cells which are TD. So to remember table for table, tier for table rows and TD for table data. So tier is for rows and then each row will have cells those are this TD or table data. So let's create this table with just one row and two cell. Let's put some data there and let's see how is that rendered. Now if we open this page with browser you will see that by default table is not showing how we usually expect table to show because um, the border attribute for the table by default it has a zero value. So we can to see the table uh, the way we usually expect a table to be we can add a border here and value is any positive integer and then you will see that now it will appear more like a table. Now it is important to remember that this particular attribute border uh, is deprecated in HTML5 so only use it when necessary. But it's um, uh, it will put the border in your table. So we have two cells here and one row. Now if we want to add one more row I'm going to copy this row for that and just change the data. And you can see that now we have a 2 by 2 table. So this is the very simplest form of table. Now let's look at a little bit more complex. Let's say we want to put a caption for our table. So what we can do for that is we can use this caption tag and we can put the content for the caption and you will see that now the table has a caption. And one thing to notice here is that even though I in the code I use the caption at the bottom of the code but the way the browser renders it is automatically puts the caption at the top of the page. So it is a good practice to actually put them in that order so that when you are reading the code it matches with what you are seeing in the browser. Um, the next thing we can do is so here the all the content in this table is are these two rows right so we can actually encapsulate them in a t body tag so 
so that is the content of my table so similar to this tbody tag there are two other tags that can be used within a table which are footer and header for header uh, you will use t head so let's create the header row so it will be like this t head and within the t head you can have rows and then within 